Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. If you're new, my name is Kiana and welcome to a work week in the life. Your girl is exhausted, your girl is tired. But it's a new week, start to, oh, I should not put my camera up on here. It's not that, I have you guys resting on my coffee pot. Um, and I should go get my tripod or something like that, but actually, why would I do that when I can put you here? You're in my cupboard. Hi! Oh my god, this is a better angle. I used it the other day too. Um, if you don't already know, I moved back to my mom's house, so that's what we're trying to figure out here. Um, this is actually my last week of moving or sorting out moving, so I'm making my coffee. That's why I'm looking down. Uh, I'm meaning I need to go back and forth from my apartment this week to get more stuff. I picked up a few things last night, which you guys might notice. All my little plants are in the all my plants are in the house, and a lot of other stuff. I just need to. <laughs> they're upstairs. But anyways, the point is we're moving out this week officially and because i've been saying oh i'm moving out oh i've moved out but my stuff have been there i just haven't been there so yeah now i have until friday to get all my stuff out of the apartment i'm not using a u-haul or anything like that because i'm cheap what's new um <laughs> yo makes money and i mean uses money for going out and having fun refuses to spend money on moving trucks judge me all you want i don't care but i'm not spending 500 dollars on a u-haul even though i'm trying to think about it like me renting the car because i'm renting a suv size car this week that is that is probably gonna cost me almost as much as having the u-haul but at least i can ride around in the car on the days that i have it you know not gonna scam me i'm joking i'm not being scammed if anything i'm just being naive so now i'm gonna start work well i've already started the work day but I haven't really dived into what I need to do, like set a to-do list and really like set myself up for work today yet. I have a meeting in like nine minutes because I have a training session that, because I asked someone to do, go through some training with me. I don't know why I set the meeting for 9 a.m. or 10 a.m., but I did that. So you know what? It is what it is. I'm usually not this rattled on a Monday. I will say that. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I like this as a background with my plants here. So yeah, we're gonna dive into work. Um, I was gonna say something. Let me watch back and see. Okay, so I was gonna tell you guys the reason I have a training session is because I'm trying to, well, not like I just had the idea on my own, but obviously I did. Me and my manager, we were just talking about ways I need to step up and like, you know, be able to do more for the team. So I've been kind of learning some of the work that another one of my team members do, not only because I need to learn that stuff and be able to step up and take on new responsibilities, but also because he is going on a study break for a week and a half. He has an exam. Exam. so I'm gonna be taking all of that on and I really need I have two days to learn it because he leaves on Wednesday so Monday Tuesday I really need to stay late ask every single question I can ask so that's that that's why I'm doing a training session right now and the reason I'm so rattled is because I feel like I just have not been able to get my life together create a routine and just do things for myself that are healthy and in support of wellness mental health and just physical health and everything um so yeah this week is gonna be a get your life together we're gonna move we're gonna get all the stuff done and yeah i'm gonna go now because i have two minutes till this meeting I opened the fridge to get the leftover fried rice I had from Saturday just to see that my mother has removed it, thrown it away, disposed of it because she thought it was garbage. I've been thinking about this fried rice my entire meeting all morning from 9 a.m. to now it's midday and now she made soup and that's what's in the fridge to be eaten. And she has some other stuff too. This is honestly such a third world, I mean, first of all problem. This is not an issue. I'm just kind of pissed, but like there's other food in the fridge. I'm at my lunch and I kind of want to show you guys a Google Calendar thing that I just made. Um, it's nothing crazy, but I think I'm gonna start planning my week with Google Calendar so that it syncs to my phone because I have just been really bad with planning and having a planner and I don't even know where my planner is right now. It's probably, ooh. I should have it actually, hold on. Well, well, I'm gonna microwave, put the food I have or I want to eat for lunch in the microwave and then I'll show you guys the planning system that I created this morning and then I'll get back. <laughs> This is a 
a fresh packet or whatever container of strawberries and I think this is just the saddest thing you can see when you get a new pack of berries and you open it up why didn't I see you from the get-go hmm Ta -da. okay so I made like this Google Calendar template to start planning my weeks as I told you guys and I think I'm gonna start doing this. I feel like it will be really helpful. Let me show you. So before when I used to use Google Calendar, I only used to do it on like a monthly scale. Like I would just throw things into the monthly. Oh, this looks chaotic right now from a monthly view. Wow. Anyways, I decided I'm gonna start doing it on a daily view. It's not like I'm doing anything that's, you know, a visionary idea or some shit. Like I'm sure everyone does this. So day by day, I'm gonna start inputting everything I have to do into Google Calendar. I only used to do like major events in my calendar. So like these social things or I wouldn't even include like study session or the work day or the morning or night routine. Now I'm gonna start putting every single thing that I have to do that day. I feel like it'll just help. So this is basically what my week is looking like and it's easier for me to tell you guys what the week looks like when I do it like this too. So I have work every day on Friday. That's a holiday. I'm gonna be using that to move out of my apartment. So I ordered a car to rent. So that's a whole thing. We'll talk about that on Friday, but Friday's moving day. On Wednesday, I have my friend's birthday party. Saturday, I have another friend's birthday party. These yellow things are orange. They're study sessions. These are work days, morning routine, night routine. And this is client work time. So yeah. I kind of think I'm going to try this out for the next two weeks or so. And then if I like it, I'll commit to it. But I just wanted to show you guys my new planning system. Happy Tuesday, guys. Uh, I'm in the morning of trying to figure out a morning routine. I'm in the morning. I'm in the whole process of trying to figure out a morning routine and today didn't go as planned. So in the calendar that I showed you guys, I blocked six to eight as my morning routine, but I didn't fall asleep till like after actually one i was gonna say 12 but it was really after one so i already knew i was not waking up at six i wasn't gonna do it to myself because it's not really that necessary i woke up at 7 30 and then i'm gonna start work at nine but slowly slowly but surely you know we're gonna progress to the six to eight because what i really want is to start working out in the morning or going for walks in the morning and then working out immediately after work i'm kind of more on board with the walks in the morning and going out after work because going to the gym after work because um i want to max i want to increase the amount of movement in my day going to the gym is still just one time a day i'll be moving my body and i kind of just want to move multiple times and the walks in the morning aren't really anything like super intense it's just like get yourself get myself active and you know get the get the metabolism going so yeah i'm gonna journal because i have not journaled in such a long time it's actually ridiculous i have been hiding from a journal and i've been saying that and still have not been doing it so i have 20 minutes till i start the work day you guys can't even see the time it doesn't matter because i just said 20 minutes and yeah i'm gonna try and get some journaling in <sighs> cheers and i also washed my hair this morning and i had the shower it was great it was a nice little chill morning but i kind of need to also create a whole morning routine in itself like what does that look like i know the making coffee and having a moment the journaling the walking that i hope to start doing but what else i don't know we'll see <laughs> walking home and I think I'm gonna uh, treat myself to Starbucks because y'all know my favorite drink the pumpkin cream cold brew is back and yeah I really could hold down a nice little coffee I've been meaning to go to Starbucks all week but I just haven't so today's the day because I have to pass it anyways to get home okay so Today was a lot closer to, actually I won't say that, 
I think today and yesterday had bits of what I would want in my ideal morning routine. It's 8.45 and I just got back home. Now, personally, I feel like that's too close to when I need to start work. And also, ideally, I'd like to start work at 8. But right now, for this week, I'm going to work with whole, the whole starting work at 9 while I try to figure out my morning routine. This morning, I went at 7 because my mom leaves for work at 7. So it just makes more sense, right? But I feel ideally my morning routine might be longer because of the gym and I feel like it really needs to start at like 5.30 especially while I'm studying for my exam for the next two months I really would rather working out in the morning making that a part of my morning routine so that after work I can have the time to study and not really be like distracted or you know have other things to do so anyways I like that I actually did a workout today first workout of the week and I should have been there Monday and Tuesday so yeah kicking off a good day I didn't vlog yesterday because it was such a nothing was really going on but I have an update oh my gosh guys so let me put you guys in better lighting do we all remember the jerk festival that I went to in August and I posted a vlog in I don't know late August so you guys should remember anyways who cares let's say this is your first video I went to the Ray and Nephew jerk festival sometime in August and I dragged Justine with me we rented a car we went because I kind of wanted to well I won the giveaway to go to the festival the jerk fest but I also wanted to work with Ray and nephew so I was like okay I'm definitely like even if they didn't give me the tickets I was gonna go because I really wanted to like get their attention and it worked um so they're sending me a gift of some sort uh whenever they do like they messaged me yesterday and i sent them sent them the information and i'm just so excited because especially because i've been so inconsistent with youtube well aside from that i really just wanted this sponsorship i feel like ray and nephew i just grew up with that brand you know like i'm from jamaica like it's a jamaican rum brand like everybody drinks ray and nephew and appleton so and ray and nephew i think owns appleton is what justine told me yesterday so it's like now i have my two you know and especially when I go carnival next year, it's just good branding like cuz then I can maybe try and work with them for some shit for my carnival like there's just There's just a lot so that made me really excited um, And then separate from that, you know, I haven't been that consistent with YouTube I'm trying to get back into it, but even now with my exams you never know so it's just nice to have a win when it comes to like my content thing because I feel like I've also lost a lot of the not like I used to work with a lot of brands but I've seen like brands that I've worked with in the past launch campaigns and they haven't reached out to me which makes sense because I haven't been posting like I can't be upset I'm not upset I'm just like oh I really should get back on my thing you know um because like I all the brands I work with like I love their stuff so you know kind of want to slide in their dms but and just like like and get back on the list but I can't do that when I'm not posting consistently so I really need to get back on my thing also this pumpkin cream cold brew is beautiful anyways I'm gonna chill out for a bit journal real quick mm, 10 minutes till I start work it's fine I probably might start work a bit later to, mm, let me at least sign on but I'll probably actually not start till like 9 30 why is my camera glary Currently making breakfast, lunch, and dinner right now. Today was not a busy day. I was being, how do the people say, lazy. Oh, I have been, honestly, work has been really chill. My manager is sick. But aside from that, um, this week is just not a busy week. We're expecting that next week and the week after is going to pick up the busy season for this quarter. But for now, it's just been really dead. And I'm not opposed. I'm, I'm not mad. I'm all good with that but <laughs> I can enjoy it now because it's gonna get busier right I made some popcorn to hold me over while I wait for the pasta because it's probably gonna take another I don't know 30 minutes honestly all I'm doing is ruining my appetite but I really should eat something because I have not eaten I've been up since 6 30 went to the gym did a crazy workout and I have not eaten all day besides the coffee clearly the coffee had enough fat to keep me going but it just is one of those things you know because i was really hungry when i was walking home from the gym but you know when you stay hungry too long you just kind of get full or you forget that you're hungry that was a vibe Johnson should know better than anyone the rule book's pretty cut dry what do you guys think about this jacket i got it um last weekend also please ignore my hair i'm about to go shower and get ready anyways what do we think about this jacket i feel like it's a bit too big it's a size medium but I didn't know it was already gonna have like an oversized fit 
specifically you see this part you see right here there's just way too much fabric right here i feel like yeah it's definitely drowning me considering it's not like it's thrifted or anything and it's from h&m where they literally make enough that i can go get a small i probably should go get a small thanks guys thanks for the help but i thought this was so cute don't you think like especially from this like side view it's just very giving cozy like i really want to wear it today i'm about to go to freaking mississauga for my friend's party but i wanted to wear this and i thought it was so cute but i don't want to wear it and then i can't return it so yeah i'm about to get ready to go to mississauga my friend kiana <laughs> ironic um she's actually one of like my childhood friends i met her when i was three or two or, no probably three or four i don't know yeah she lives up here now which is just so crazy that so many people that i know from literally my young years even if i wasn't that close to them like i was very close with kiana but there are other friends up here like even justine i've known justine my roommate if you guys are not new from well my ex-roommate <laughs> anyways i've known her for such a long time we just weren't close friends but the point so many people that i grew up with live here which is just crazy of all the places well <laughs> I was gonna say of all the places, you know, we're all here, but Jamaicans only migrate to two countries. No, three countries england canada the states and specifically in the states you're gonna find a lot of the jamaicans in florida new york city where else they're in other places but they're very concentrated in new york and florida and then in canada you'll find them if we're getting very city specific you're gonna find them in like scarborough uh where else probably mississauga those ends you know anyways i need to go get ready i wish my hair would cooperate like it really needs a relaxo but i didn't want to relax it because i need to braid it but i'm also realizing i have some split ends so i feel like i'm gonna have to just go get my hair done before i get it braided because i don't know i feel like that's good for your hair right like it would be i don't want it breaking when i take out the braids in a month or so so yeah i want the growth to be healthy anyways let me go get ready Say hi to the vlog, the people miss you. I know it's been a while. <laughs> I think it's my vlog. Hey, vlog. Hey, it's Kiana's birthday. Happy birthday, Kiana. I'm so happy. You say happy birthday to you, so? Yes. You're so cute. Go ahead, put your back into it. Do your thing like it ain't done to it. Shake, shake, shake that ass. Go, go, go. 50 in the house, bounce. Y'all already know what I'm about. The flow sounds sick over Dre drums. Nigga, I ain't stupid. I see doc. Then my dough come quicker. Whoa, shorty hips is hypnotic. She moves so about it. Watch, I'm like, bounce that ass, girl. I, I, I can't even. I pray that they drop. Oh, my God. <laughs> Do you guys ever know yourself so well that like you know when you're gonna make a bad decision like bad life choices for example let me get very specific last year i experienced like a or no earlier this year i experienced like a ridiculous crazy burnout because i started the year and actually before the year started from like november going into february i started off that period or went through that period so intensely so productive trying to do the most because i had all this creative energy and just productive energy i was also studying for my exam so it's almost literally same kind of thing we're going through now like i was just really productive from october to this to end of november and then i had that productivity going through december obviously new year new me started off the year strong and then i burnt out by february and i wouldn't say i feel like i've been my laziest from february onwards but i've definitely just not been as hard hitting throughout this year as i I typically would because I just 
you know burnt out and i feel like i'm finally recovering from that right like i for once in a really for the first time in a really long time i have for the first time in a really long time i have so much energy to just to just go for things like go at things give it my 100 percent, and i feel like i'm once again doing too much like i'm doing the most and i need to relate back and it's hard because whenever i have the energy to like go 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 like go hard in my social life go hard in my work life go hard in everything i feel like i just want to give it right like i want to give that 100 percent. but i know myself and i know i need to slow down and it's the other side of me that just does not want to like it wants to be stubborn and just go and go and go until there's no more energy or spark there and i feel like I've been just trying to like manage that because I really cannot I can't get so burnt out again it's so not healthy first of all and it's just not gonna be good for me long term you know anyways happy Thursday my friend's party yesterday was cool it was nice it was fun and I'm happy I went because I really not gonna lie I kind of didn't want to go I think I said that to you guys I didn't really want to go because I was just tired and it was kind of far from my house like I would say it was probably an hour and a half just on the train itself a little over that right so for me it was just like oh my god like it's, if it wasn't her I wouldn't be going like if it wasn't a close friend I wouldn't have been going but I'm happy I went we went roller skating as you guys would see in the clips and I've never done that before and I've been asking her like can you show me how to roller skate can you show me and I'm excited I'm it makes me want to go again like will it be my new hobby probably not i'm also happy because i remember sometime in covid i wanted to get skates as my little covid hobby and i remember i mentioned i think it was justine i mentioned it too and she was like you're always picking up hobbies that cost so much money and like when i did ceramics like i feel like i was upset when i did the ceramics classes because i didn't end up liking it that much and i was like hey i paid so much money to do these classes that i didn't even finish because i just didn't care to go back and finish it you know and i'm happy i didn't just go and buy the skates like that because it's obviously i can just go to this studio do some classes pay 25 dollars just to go inside and you know play around all night and it, and she's kiana was telling me there's like a beginner class so if i want to actually like go learn learn that would be the vibe and i think i want to go do that one day there are also some dance classes downtown that i want to go to they host it on a tuesday and it's like a it's like a dance hall or sometimes they do like afro um afro beat songs and stuff long story short i really like where this year the end of this year is coming it's october and i do want to set goals for q4 oh my gosh should i do a reset with me um for uh q4 i probably should it would be fun it would be just for me because i do have a few little goals that i want to accomplish i'm talking so much right now i have some goals i want to accomplish for the last bit of the year nothing crazy because you know what i just said you know how i like to do the most we're, we're trying to dial it back but i feel like i'm finally getting back to that point where i want to like set goals for myself and you know just do the damn thing mm, dum, dum, dum. Happy Friday. It's moving day. Oh. Uh, let me actually stay zoomed in because I'm in my mom's room. And I know when she watches, well, if she watches this vlog, she's going to be like, why are you in my room? Get out my room. Even though it would have been <laughs> weeks later and I'm no longer in her room. Um, It's a good thing I'm going down to London today because I literally don't have things. Like I'm running out of moisturizer, so I have to be using my mom's stuff like my moisturizer all i've had is the one that i brought traveling with me and so you can already tell i had been using this for two weeks plus another three weeks since being here it's done 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 like it's at the point where i have to be putting my finger in there and like yeah i have to be putting my finger in there and like scraping out the last of it so yeah and boom we're ready for the day i used to use this moisturizer i put my mom on it but i don't know why i don't use it anymore my nails please guys i finished yo the one day i had plans to like low-key leave a little early from work and go do my own stuff is the day 
I got asked to do stuff at work, which I'm not mad about. Like, I like when they give me more responsibility nowadays because it kind of feels like I haven't been getting that much. Like, I've just been doing things that I already know how to do, which it's not like I'm a master at it. But anyways, um, it was nice to do something new, but I was like, oh my gosh, on the one day that I actually wanted to leave early. So I was working till like after six. And Loki, if I was someone that knew how to do the task quickly, or knew how to do it already I probably wouldn't have been working late but it is what it is so I was working till like after six then I was like hey like I'm just gonna go to the gym so I went to the gym and by the time I got home and ate like well first of all by the time I went to the gym it was over for this um but I really I think tomorrow I'm gonna film like a, a glow up vlog because I'm getting my hair done finally like I've been trying to push off relaxing my hair because I wanted to go braid it which I am gonna do next week even though I may push that. But I am gonna relax it tomorrow because it really needs a trim. It's breaking. Um, and I kinda need her to just like help me out with like how I can fix it from being not damaged because when you Google like anything about hair online, like not even just like relaxed hair, just like hair in general, <clears throat> you get all this advice like from so many different people and I'd rather the lady tell me what I really need to do for my hair. Anyways, I'm gonna pack up and what time is it? I didn't even have a watch on. I'm like, oh. Yeah, I need to go pick up the car. It's almost 9 o'clock. And then I'm going to go pick up Justine. And then we're going to move. Okay, bye. Okay, I got the car. They gave me a Mitsubishi. It's kind of dark in here today. They gave me a Mitsubishi. Um, uh, I don't even know what this thing's called. But, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go pick up Justine. We're car girls. Woohoo. Hi, Daddy. Hi, sweetheart. I'm driving today. Mm -hmm. Your whose car? I rented a car and I'm scared. Anyways. Anyways, I have to go because I'm late, but I just had to let you know that I'm driving today. Okay. All right, bye. Great. Bye. <clears throat> you push down the gas and pull up the handbrake, right? <laughs> <laughs> September 30th now. Everybody mm. move in today. Okay, we're finally in the apartment. I stopped to get some food so I could eat because I haven't eaten breakfast yet. It was so gross. So the game plan for today it's I think two o'clock by now, honestly. Justine is gone to go do her friend's hair. Like she does, she braids hair. She braids her guy friend's hair sometimes. She braids her, she's braiding her guy friend's hair. So she's gonna do that. It's probably gonna take her like an hour, hour and a half. I'm gonna eat, relax and cool down for a bit because the driving was a lot. But oh my God, guys. I'm so proud of myself because I feel like driving has just been so intimidating to me. And I was so anxious and then Immediately once I started driving probably like 10 minutes in I was like, hey, this is not that deep You can relax you can calm down and just breathe and chill So proud of myself for that and the whole time my mom was so anxious and that's the thing I feel like I'm only anxious about driving because my mom makes me so anxious as if it's some big task But it's kind of like a game, <laughs> you know, but anyways, I'm starving. I'm gonna go but I just wanted to check in I do not know how this is gonna work out so I don't know if it looks as big as it is on camera but basically I emptied out the closet and put oh I need to empty these bags but these clothes are dirty so I don't really want to mix them but basically we're gonna make a stop at Goodwill and get rid of all the stuff that is in this pile that we don't want as well as furniture so i might get rid of this might get rid of this well definitely getting rid of this should get rid of this um 
and there's just a bunch of other stuff but yeah this is gonna be sticky so some stuff i feel like we're gonna have to leave at justine's sister and i may have to come back and like try and sort it out yeah basically the bathroom we need to clean we have to clean the entire apartment so me trying to figure out what i want to keep and what i don't want is just phase one we're getting rid of this getting rid of this goodwill we're gonna try and bring this to goodwill but there's a lot to do yo <laughs> And the kitchen is like all the stuff is still in the kitchen wish me luck guys i probably won't vlog till i'm at least done all of this and we're heading out to goodwill but <laughs> i just want to document it for myself you know maybe this will be a reminder to me the next time i'm moving out that like get the u-haul and stop being cheap guys i um it's 9 54 first of all oh my god i really need to pee i just dropped off a suitcase well i sent a just a I sent a suitcase and the off my office chair to Justine's sister's house and I'm gonna come back later in the week to try and get that from her. Um, I'll probably do it on one of the days that I couldn't go into the office and just work in the office that day. Um, but yeah, we're basically done moving all the furniture is out. We just needed to, I just needed to pick up Justine. I'm just gonna bring my nightstand in the car, kind of organize the trunk because things are kind of moving around. And then i'm done we're about to have like a whole two and a two hour two and a half hour ride back to justine's house well back to my house it's gonna be i won't be home till like late late which i don't really feel comfortable driving so late at night but we have to do what we have to do to succeed also i noticed today how many breakouts i have i feel like i'm really stressed out and the crazy thing is that i'm supposed to be going out tomorrow so i feel like I don't key should not be because I'm stressed and I just don't feel my best, you know? Anyways. Oh, oh. Is this mine or yours? Mine. Camera and everything. I know. The lens is on it? The lens cap? Everything should be. Not the lens cap, I think. But like, just check under the car here. Yeah. Use my flashlight. Period, period, period. This is only half my stuff. The other half is in the car. And I left the office chair and the suitcase in London. I told you guys that already. But yeah. And I brought my TV upstairs. <laughs> 